In this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, we're going to show you how to apply a special effect to part of a title. Normally you can't do that. I had a subscriber who said, how can I make this happen? I have a workaround for you. Please look at the following example where you see the words fire sale lit, where the text around them is not. We'll show you how to do that in this tutorial. I have my video and other elements on various tracks, and so we'll add our title now. I'm going to go to the title room by clicking on the T. I'll take my boring default title, drag it down, and put it on track number three in this case. And then we'll drag it out to match the duration of the project. Now I'm going to double click on it so we can get into our title designer. One of the things I want to do is change the font face of it. So I'm going to click on the down arrow. Now here's a tip. When you're in the new interface, you can drag all the way up to the top and it will show you the most recently used fonts that you have been working with. If you see any here that have a little download arrow, they're ones that you can download and use that are additional fonts available through PowerDirector. But I'll take this one Aldrich and we'll use it on this particular title. I want to change the text of it. Let's call this August 3 to 13 fire sale special. Now we're going to show you the issue that we need to deal with. Let's take this and put it up here. Watch what happens when I try to apply this special effect of fire. It applies it to every single letter and I don't want that. I want it only on fire sale. That's what we're going to overcome in this particular tutorial. So I'll turn that effect off. I do want to change one thing slightly about this. We're going to change the shadow, give them a little bit of a shadow. And I'm going to turn that down to a one. Let's see what we can do. How do I just get the words fire sale to go on fire? I need to click on the advanced button in the lower right corner of my basic title designer. That gets me to my advanced title designer. Now, when I had this selected, I had put a grid on the screen to turn the grid on or off. You click on the grid to the lower right of the preview screen and you can set the number of lines you want. I have a 10 by 10. You could do any number of grid options you prefer. I just changed it to six by six. So if I need to align things to a grid, this gives me a visual reference point. I can also make it snap to the grid if I so choose. So I need fire sale to be different. So with this highlighted and I need the white line around the entire thing, I'll do control C to copy. I'll click anywhere else, do control V to paste. And now I've pasted it in there. So now I actually have two titles. They both have the same words on them. Let's take the second one and we'll re remove everything, but the words for fire sale. And now we're going to replace this fire sale with the other. The best way for me to do this to make sure there is no conflict is to take the first one and delete the words fire sale. And then just put enough space in between the words that I can insert this one. And so let's take our mouse and drag and move it. And I'm going to use the arrow keys to get them perfectly aligned. And it looks like I need more room between the date and the word special. So instead of editing that down here, if I click up here, you notice I can on the upper left corner, I can edit this. I can increase the space here. And now I'm going to click back down lower. We have the word fire sale special, but if I drag, I have the word fire sale that makes sure I'm clicked on that. I'm going to use the left arrow and move it over a little bit. And when I click off of it, it looks like it's all one title when it actually isn't. Now with the word fire sale selected, and I'm selecting it in the timeline, we can apply that special effect. To do that, we we'll click on the styles tab in the upper left corner and the special effects sub tab there. And now we're going to click on our word fire. And now we have our fire sale. I'm going to change the direction of the fire a little bit. 
but I also want it not to start out blazing. I want it to start blazing a little bit into the project. So I'm going to keyframe it. Now, if you look here ab above the size, you have a diamond. That's a keyframe setting. Then you're going to have a left and right triangle that will light up. Let's take our cursor and move it to the very beginning. And I'm going to set a keyframe by clicking on the diamond. Now I'm going to go in three seconds. I'll just type three in the key code, press enter. And I'm going to set another keyframe. And you see the red dot here. It says size, but in this case, it's not really related to size. Uh, then I'm going to go over, let's say, three seconds and 10 frames. And I'm going to set another keyframe. And you see the dot. Now, each of these have the same value. I don't want that. I want the fire to be off to start with. So I'm going to click the left arrow again above that size number. Move back one keyframe. And here I'm going to take the density down and the size down to zero. I'm going to go back to the first frame by clicking the left triangle again. And now I'll take that down to zero. So it should be zero at this keyframe, zero at this keyframe, quickly, almost instantaneously burst into flame and stay in flame on the third one. Let's see if that works. Okay. So in other words, fire sale are special and they're different. So what I want to do in this case, and I want to add another piece of title. So I'm going to click on the T here. I could also double click anywhere else. And I'm going to do 1.9% financing. And let's take the 1.9% and make that bigger. And we'll take that entire title and put it here. I want to change something else to it to show you just other features you can do when you're editing a title in the advanced mode. We're going to change the color of the font face to a gradient color. Now it starts out with blue and white. We're going to change the blue by clicking on the box, on the left, left marker box. And then I'll click the color. We'll change that to orange. Click on OK. Now we're going to go to the right one. Click on the color, which is white. And we're going to change that to a yellow. Click on OK. Now I want a little more orange to the bottom of the letters. So I'm going to add another color stop by clicking here. I'll move it over a little more. And then I'm going to click on that and click on color. And I'm going to go on the, the darkness scale here, darken it up just a bit more and click on OK. So now I have that. Now, if I want to separate that from the other text, I could click here and highlight everything. And we could actually change to a different font if I wanted to. Let's go to this Arial Black. And now I have this added. Now the financing one, I don't want to start until after the fire has been burning a bit. So it was about three seconds in. Let's go in about four seconds. And let's also go to animation on our financing and just have it fade in. So I'm going to click on OK. And let's go back to the beginning and see what it looks like when we play it this way. We have our letters and the fire sale alone and then the financing pops in. And so we have our promo. So that's a way in which you can take that effect and apply it apparently to only part of a title. But we've actually cheated the system and separated the title out.